Welcome. In a previous video, I did a test on an Oroco drive dock with a Western Digital 8 terabyte red drive in there. And I wanted to see if the USB 3.0 interface or the eSATA interface on a Synology NAS, and this is a DS918, uh, which of those interfaces faster. And the eSATA was like 13 seconds faster in the test that I did. It was copying uh, 42 gigabytes of files. And so I want to go with that interface. Plus, I also would like to um, leave one of the USB ports open so I can use it for external um, drives and such. So I'll put a link in the description to the Oroco drive dock and the Western Digital Drive in the description. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I'm going to set up hyper backup using that drive combination. I'll put a link in the description also to some playlists. Um, if you have any questions, I may have made videos on things or you can leave them in the comments. But I want to go to my hyper backup. If you don't have that installed, you can install it. I'll go to my hyper backup on my DS and I'll make this full screen. I want to go down here to create and I want to say data backup task. So I have the drive plugged into the eSATA port. I have it formatted as ext4 and I want to go here and I want to say uh, Synology local folder and USB. So I'll click that. There's a single version. I think that just makes a clone of it and keeps that clone up to date. But I want to, um, I don't want to do that. I want to have uh, multiple backup versions. So I'll click next here and it says create a backup task. So I want to select this and I want to go down to the SATA share here. If you're doing USB, you want to use the USB share. And it says the directory, I'll call it um, DS918 backup. Um, actually, I'll say eSATA underscore backup, and I'll hit next. And it says, what do I want to back up? So I want to back up DS share. I want to back up, let's see, this HP scans. I have some, I have some music too, I think somewhere. Oh, that's in the DS share. Actually, most things are in this DS share folder. So I think that's everything for now. So I'll hit next. And then you can draw back up applications. So if you're using any of these applications, you can back those up here too. So I'll hit next. And then you have the backup settings. So it says enable task notification. So I've made some videos on setting up notifications. If you have those turned on, this will send you emails or texts or whatever when the backup is completed. So I'm going to leave that on. It says remove the destination external device when backup is successfully finished. I don't want to do that. It says compress backup data. I don't know, I may leave that on even though a lot of the data I'm backing up, if you're backing up media files a lot of times, it's kind of pointless to compress them. I do have a lot of media there, but I'll leave this on anyway. And it says enable backup schedule to run at. So this is going to run at 3 a.m. And it says enable integrity check schedule. And that's going to run at 5 a.m. on Sunday. It says run at uh, check data. It says less than 30 minutes. So I'm not completely sure. Maybe it only runs it for 30 minutes. I don't know. And it says enable client side encryption. I'm going to leave that off. I'll hit next here. And it says enable backup rotation. So this would. I'll leave this up on the screen, but this would keep your drive from filling up and um, it'll uh, delete older versions. So newer ones have room. So I'll enable that and I'll say uh, from the earliest versions and it has a schedule here. I'll hit apply. And it says backup now and I'll hit yes. So we'll see this local storage one here and it's initiating. It says checking source file size. So this will run through the procedure and it will back up. Once this is done backing up its initial backup, I'll get the email and then it'll back up at, I think it was three in the morning. And after that backup is done, um, it will send me that email. So what you'll typically notice is you have an email come in at say, like say it's 3.30. You have the backup start at three, it comes in at 3.30. And every morning you'll get that email and it might be 329, 331. It'll be different depending on how much data changed each day. So if you notice that's really weird, like say it finishes at um, you know, 6.30 a.m. So you know, it takes three and a half hours, but it normally takes three hours or one hour or whatever. If you notice that's off, then it, you might look into it. Maybe there's some kind of problem on the server. So that's something to check out. So that's all I'm gonna cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.